Hello everyone. Welcome to EA Secret. The story of the family who adopted a child at the age of 6 and came out at the age of 22. It's not a movie, it's completely real. Christine, who writes books about parenting, and her husband Michael were born in Ukraine. They adopt Natalia in May 2010. And in 2013, they are accused of leaving him at their Indiana home a week before he moved to Canada. In the lawsuit filed against the Barnetts, the police claim that the family left Natalia, who has difficulty walking due to dwarfism, at home for three years. However, according to the claims of the 45-year-old mother and her family, they are the victims in this case. Christine suggests that Natalia's documents are completely false and that she is actually 22 years old. They also claim that he threatened to stab them in their sleep, tried to poison them with bleach, and even tried to kill Christine once by pushing her against an electric fence. Speaking to the Daily Mail, Christine says, he would say that he wanted to kill family members, wrap them in a blanket and bury them in the backyard, and he would draw pictures about it. I saw him putting chemicals like bleach in my coffee and I asked him what he was doing he replied to me, I'm trying to poison you, dot. Christine says that the media tried to make her look like a child snatcher, but there was no child, and she continues, Natalia was a woman. She was getting her period. His adult teeth had come out. He was not even a CM tall, which is seen in children with dwarfism. All of the doctors confirmed that he has a serious psychological disorder, which is observed only in adults. He was jumping out of the windows of moving cars. He was smearing blood on the mirrors. He was doing things you can't imagine a little kid doing. The family, who have a natural child with autism named Jake, say that they have accepted Natalia as a full member of the family and that they are very good parents. However, after a while, the color of events changes. They say that they adopted Natalia from a clinic in Florida, but did not question for conscientious reasons why the documents were insufficient during the adoption proceedings. And then they start to feel strange. Christine says, I was giving her a bath and I saw that there were hairs on her genital area. I went into shock. Because I was told that he was six years old, apparently he was not. But after a while they begin to suspect that things are not as they seem. Then her doctors do a bone test and they see that Natalia is at least 14 years old. Natalia's mental health deteriorates at some point, she begins to become risky to her environment, so she is hospitalized. Natalia admits that there, too, she is older in age and, without any remorse, tried to kill her family members. The judge finally fixes Natalia's birth year as 1989. Thanks to this, Natalia is able to receive adult care assistance. The Barnetts are renting him an apartment, helping him get an ID, even wanting to send him to college. But after the family move to Canada, Natalia continues to behave like a child again. He starts not answering the family's phones and completely breaks off communication with them. In the end, the police filed a lawsuit accusing the couple, who divorced in 2014, of gross negligence. Christine, on the other hand, denies all the accusations, saying that they went to Canada for her son's education, that Natalia is an adult, although it has been repeatedly proven, they are still accused of neglect. I've always cooperated. I've always been honest with people. I have been charged with a crime committed against a child, despite the fact that Natalia has been recognized as an adult by the state of Indiana many times. When you bring a child home, you expect him to be a child. Such an accusation is unreasonable in my opinion. This is so horrible. The family's experiences were also very similar to the 2009 film Orphan, there, it was also seen that the girl they had adopted by the family was pretending to be a child and trying to kill the family. What do you guys think about this? Meet me in the comments. Please don't forget to like my video and subscribe to my channel.